Good morning, everyone. Just a quick reminder. Now that we're getting into the swing of things, it's time for some grades to start showing up. And for every assignment, there are two things that you need to do to make sure your assignment even gets graded. If your assignment doesn't get graded, it shows up in the gradebook as a zero. And we don't want that, especially if it's something that you did. We need you to get credit for everything that you do. First thing is the obvious thing. You have to do the assignment, and it has to be complete. Some of the assignments are coming in partially complete, and Mr. B doesn't grade partial assignments. Uh, second thing that you need to do is you need to mark as completed in Google Classroom each assignment. So if you're in fourth grade, for example, and a fourth grade assignment is there, when you finish doing the actual assignment, whatever it may be, it may be programming, it may be keyboarding, it may be a worksheet, whatever, when you are done, you have to make sure that you mark it as complete in Google Classroom. That tells me that I need to go and grade that assignment. Without marking it as complete, it's the same as not turning it in, and I don't know to go and look to grade it. So you want to make sure that you give me the Iggy to go and take a peek at your work. That way you can get credit for all of your hard work. So, two things to do. Do the assignment and mark it as complete in Google Classroom. I'll see you all soon. Sooner than you thought, right? Remember, the only thing that I didn't tell you before is only mark the assignments that are for your class complete. So if you're in third grade, you're not going to mark any other grades as complete. You're only going to mark the assignments that are clearly marked for third grade. Same thing for first grade, second grade, third grade. Don't mark anything that's not your grade level. All right, I'm really going this time. See you later.